YouTubers. Thank you again for coming to Bowers Board Game Corner. My name is Lucy, and this is Bower. And we're back for another Thoughts from the Corner. I'm here with my good friend Lucy, as she said. And we're going to be talking <laughs> about Arkham Horror, the card game, the e Murder at the Excelsior Hotel yep. expansion. So this is one of the small pack expansions you can get. Mm -hmm. It's its complete own one-off thing that you're going to be able to do. And this is all Lucy's stuff, so I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. throw it to her before we get into our thoughts. If you're not familiar with like Arkham Horror the Living Card Game, it's a sort of like a it's sort of like a little like card game where you make your own little um, deck at first, about like thirty cards usually, where you're playing through like different locations, looking for clues, trying to solve the mystery before like before you're asked to solve the mystery before the agendas happen of like the evildoers. And this is this is in the Fantasy Flight Living Card Game category. You can play this solo, you can play it cooperative. And we use some expansion stuff. You were using expansion character, but everything we say here would still be applicable if you just have the, the base. base game box, yes. because this is its own separate thing. Where essentially we're at this hotel, and there's a dead body, and things just start going from there. We're gonna try and make this as spoiler free as we can, but we'll, we'll touch on some of different also, things. The introduction stuff, like in the introduction, it pretty much flat out tells you that like. When you first wake up going to the Excelsior Hotel after getting a mysterious message, you have yourself like in your hands a bloody dagger. And it's like, oh crap, there's a dead body, I have a bloody dagger. Ooh, yeah. I gotta start hiding stuff. It got bloodier. Yes. <laughs> like... <laughs> so let's just go into our thoughts of it. We'll, we'll, we might get a little bit spoiler here and there. Um, I'm gonna let you go first because I have Arkham Horror the card game. I've probably played it four or five times. I really enjoyed the game. But I like playing it cooperative better than I like playing it solo. So unfortunately, I haven't played it in like a year plus. Whereas oh, Lucy yeah. is bam. Yeah. She is all about this. So what did you I think like about this. it? Because I think if you're looking at this, you're probably, you might be in that same boat where it's like, is this worth getting over, you know, the sack of the blob? Or, or, or yeah. I'm going to shut up and let you talk. Uh, this is like one of the, like, the bigger like, mini, like, little, like mini expansions, which I was like excited to try out. So I'm going to like, the little box slits, with the, it kind of, which comes with like a couple, only like a few cards. It comes with this whole thing with all the new locations and everything, and it was pretty exciting to go through everything because it has like different like there's like different locations to go through, and like the enemies are still challenging enough, but it's not so much that you can't overcome it with a little bit of luck and some ingenuity. One thing that I really liked about this, and yes, I'm I'm going to speak to that in a second. We we were we had a stand up bag pull moment where we could have won yes. if I would have pulled successfully with the bag which it did not, but we got to play through a good chunk. We got to play through pretty much everything. Oh, yeah. But what I really liked was this doesn't seem like one of those one-off scenarios where you're going to play it once or twice and then you're going to be done because yeah. the way they have it set up, there's going to be these two artifacts that you're going to get. And yes. depending on the combination of artifacts you get, at least from what I understood, you're going to have a different story. So, yeah. spoiler alert, this is a minor one, we had to deal with the giant freaking alien. Yeah. But if we would have had something else, it would have been something else that we had to deal with with different scenarios. It felt kind of like the haunts. Like you would get different haunts yes. to a certain degree from uh, Betrayal on the House of the Hill, which I thought was a really cool aspect to add to the mm -hmm. game. And there was, there was, I mean, there was a there was a whole room we didn't even go into. Yeah. So there were still some ex secrets and some things to explore. So for me personally, as being someone who just owns the base game, and I think one expansion, I think this would be a great standalone as well. Oh, yeah. But it seemed nice to get. I will say it's a little bit, um, it's probably not the most, like, if you're just getting into the card game and you don't know, like, what you're doing with all the mechanics, this might not be, like, the first uh, little mini expansion you go to. This one's, like, it seems like there's a lot to keep track of, I will say that. Because, yeah. like, there's a, there's a police officer who's going to take things at the end of their turn, the people who's going to move at the end of their turn. It definitely isn't a beginner-friendly one, but it's still exciting enough. And this was pretty lengthy. I gotta say, this probably took us maybe two hours. Yeah. And I'm really glad I had you here because there, there is, there's a good deal of more bookkeeping, and yeah. So, but you also had the other one as well, which is the Blob, right? Yes. So between those two, would you recommend the Blob getting before this one, or what? What did you think? Um, I think that the the one with the Blob is a little more, um, because the Blob was a little more, uh, what's it called? More interactive. The blob is more interactive with the space, like, hey, the blob can, like, eat your cell phone or something. That one's a little more interactive. It's better with, actually, multiple people. Like, just besides, like, two or, like, four. It's more of a... It was made for a convention. Okay. It was, it was the one that was... I believe it was highlighted last year. Uh, conventions. I miss conventions. Yes, it was highlighted last year for a convention game. And I think it shines more during that type of play, but it's not too hard. I'd probably suggest getting the blob beforehand, but they're about the same. 
And we were on the easy difficulty on this, yes. right? And it felt really stinking hard. Yes. So I'm asking about the interactivity because now that you mentioned that, I was the tank. Like, yes. I had blood on my hands. I probably murdered about 15 people, 12 <laughs> people, somewhere yes. in there with this dagger. I was just killing everything. And you were just, like, off in the basement investigating. Yeah. It felt like we were somewhat disjointed. And is it is the blob less of that? Yeah, because you're more... And also, it was just with the characters that we chose, because you were more a fighty. Mm -hmm. I was more investigation. And we really couldn't go outside of that kind of comfort zone. Okay. Yeah. So, overall, though... At, uh, we're going to do this from both of our perspectives. Yeah. Do you recommend this? And if you do recommend... So, would you recommend it for me in my situation? And would you recommend it for you in your situation where you have a bunch of stuff? So, what would be your recommendations for um, both of us? I would say... I would recommend this, like, for... If, you, if you're deep into, like, the Arkham Horror, like, card game already, you have your deck, you already have, like, your people going. Because, like, mm. you can also... This is also for a campaign expansion, too. You can add it to your campaigns, like, all of them. But this one costs three experience points, if I remember correctly. Oh. It's a lot of experience points to give up to go for this adventure. And it's, I'd say it's rewarding because, like, you can get, like, some really good um, stuff, like that dagger you got. Oh, it that becomes, thing sick. It becomes permanently what you have, so that would be nice to get. But um, if you're definitely, like, into it and, like, you don't mind, like, going, you want something harder, i say definitely go for this one. If you're just beginning it out like you are, like you haven't had much experience with it, I'd probably say still go through like your, your beginner scenario and maybe try like one of the bigger expansions, like the Dunwich Legacy or the um, Path to Carcosa, which gives you a little bit more cards and a little bit more meat to deal with some kind of stuff. I have not actually played either of those, but I think I would probably prefer that as well. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, I think you would want to have a little bit more experience under your belt before you get to that. And not to mention, because this includes extra cards you'll be able to add into the deck, which will make this... Yes. Okay. So, yeah. Because yeah, a lot of the cards that we used were just, like, from different expansion stuff. But still, overall, are you happy with your purchase? Oh, Did yeah. you enjoy it? Are you I enjoyed okay. it. Well, there you go. That is Arkham Horror... The Murder at the Excelsior Hotel. It looks like it might be your cup of tea. Be sure to check that one out. If you're enjoying what we're doing, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below or the comments below. And also, Lucy, when was the last time you were in a hotel? Um, oof. Oof, it's been a while. Probably like last summer, maybe? When I was out gambling in, what's it called? At Flyers Keepers in Michigan. Okay. Man, I think my last one was, was Gen Con. No, 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 no. I went to a Broncos game last year. Yes, with my son. Wow, I don't know. God, coronavirus yeah. messes up everything. Yep. It's August. Oh, dear God. Oh, my God. We're living August. in an Arkham Horror universe right now. <laughs> but let me know in the comments below. <laughs> When's the last time you were at a hotel? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. See yous.